Quarter sessions, two days of uh, inspiration and information. The last interview is with uh, Ed Harwood. Ed, welcome. Ed. Um, you're the CSO we were just uh, discussing of uh, Aero Farms, uh, the chief science officer. Uh, and uh, Aero Farms is the largest vertical farm in the world. Uh, what is a vertical farm? A vertical farm is, uh, it, 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 there's a number of definitions and in a nascent industry like this, that definition is kind of evolving, but for us we think of it as uh, stacking the growing, so it becomes instead of a 2D space like in a greenhouse, it becomes a 3D space, and so you grow in, in numerous layers. So you use the, the room better? More yeah, use the entire cubic space that, that you have available, which means then you pay less rent, uh, you have a more manageable in environment in some senses, or what you are managing is is uh, much more beneficial because you filled it with, with growing. Yeah, um, and, and, and is that for specific uh, 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 stuff, specific crops, or what, what, where does it work for and where does it doesn't it work? Right, so lots of times with new technologies in which you haven't uh, removed all of the or taken advantage of all the opportunities to remove capex and opex uh, from your business equation um, you select places where the cost of inputs is as low as possible and um, and you grow the things that are going to get you the, the most benefit and so when it comes to plants there's a lot of perishable things and perishable things tend to bring more money just because they're perishable and we've become very good at it so that our baby leafy greens which is mostly what we focus on taste uh, at, the, at the very highest level uh, as uh, the feedback from chefs tells us uh, our stuff is very tasty yeah. so yeah so it's mostly leafy greens some herbs but mostly le yeah. leafy greens and, and, and where is say the, the, the what makes what you do special is that in the plants is that in the technology around is it the combination of the two it's kind of a combination of the two so you begin to learn some trade secrets about what so when you're growing outside you have mother nature you got to keep working with <laughs> yeah. right? not always very cooperative no. so if you grow in indoors in a controlled uh, setup you have control over almost everything so then you can begin to tweak uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the environment you can tweak what the plants get you can uh, almost everything is under your control and so then you look for the things that make it tasty yeah and um you said you, you, you're the largest vertical farm in the world. How, how large is that? Uh, it, it's 67,000 uh, square feet, but uh, in cubic space, that's it's, it's over 30 feet high. So uh, the large kind of comes from that. Yeah. Where, so so when, when you look in, a, in, in the near future, will, will we see this uh, everywhere around the world? Will, will this be I'd love to have yeah. that be the case. Yeah. Yeah. Will, will sure. this be on, on the way we think about it? <laughs> I, yeah, I think so. I, I think it's an opportunity. It's not a silver bullet for agriculture, which has many problems now, but uh, we're not going to grow wheat. We're not going to feed cattle or pigs or, or, or chickens, you know, with, with what we produce. But I think within that, that fresh, perishable arena, we, you know, we, we will do well. Yeah. Uh, you as the uh, Chief Science uh, Officer, so, so um, which uh, next steps do you still have to make or do you want to make um, uh, well, science when we talk about science? So we're actually, I visited the other day with um, a seed company uh, here in, in the Netherlands um, and, and you have a few seed companies um, but uh, I think the, the next development will be taking the genetics that, are, that have been applied to outdoor growing and produce uh, genetics that are uh, better for the indoor growing vertical farming situation. So that's that's one area where I see a significant improvement happening. Um, and we have not yet, uh, my presentation today was on light. Uh, we know a great deal about it, but we don't know all the aspects of it. So it varies from plant to plant. It varies from uh, stage of growth, uh, lots of variation uh, built into the uh, what it reacts with. Yeah.
and is it and, and does it may make a difference where in the world it is is it the solution that is more uh, for specific uh, doesn't matter where we are no, no. <laughs> and, and where, so 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 and, and, and so what's your goal world domination with this <laughs> Um, let's let's just say that a sensible approach to putting as many farms in place as possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. But, um, and will they be? So, do you want to sell the the knowledge and the technique, or do you want to be the owner no. of the farms? We, we want to own and operate the farms, and we are looking for partners, uh, people who are are developers and or want to. Uh, co-own and operate, uh, but we, we want to control the technology. There is enough things that we've learned that are proprietary. Uh, teaching other people what those are is 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 not the model that we've chosen. chosen. Yes, no. yeah. <laughs> you want to keep your knowledge for yourself. Yeah, yes, yes. I understand. And um, is it is it uh, so is it uh, is it a cost-efficient way because you use the the, the, the room and etc. Better or are there more elements that make it cost uh, cost efficient? Um, the, the, the most recent, uh, there, there's a couple of things. Energy is an expense, uh, labor is an expense, uh, seeds are an expense, yeah. not, a, not a big one. But um, the, the energy, and I'm very glad that it's energy that's probably the one that we're focused on and it's uh, the more significant uh, aspect of it for two reasons. One, uh, we're using LED technology and you may be aware that the efficiency of it is is going up, which means that it's going to use less power. Also, our, our focus in the rest of the world is on trying to come up with sustainable power sources. So we have a lot of people working for us. They don't know that, okay, but they're, they're going to help us out yeah. by giving us um, a more sustainable, potentially less expensive source of, of power, or at least, a, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, what fascinates you, what drives you in this? What, fa what, fasc what, what fascinates you so much in this? <laughs> the original fascination was people telling me, excuse me, the people telling me that um, it wasn't going to work. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so <laughs> absolutely, work. yes, right. Yeah. So I think that's a common denominator amongst uh, people who are entrepreneurs. Somebody has told them it will never work. Uh, and uh, if they have the curiosity and the persistence, etc., uh, and I have some marvelous partners in this, um, th that all makes it, uh, you know, uh, that's the way to go. Yeah. So, so how long have you been working on this? Concept? Since 2004. Um, started then, uh, I geared up once, thought Ed would be a farmer. <laughs> uh, Ed couldn't convince other people that uh, th this was a good idea. Okay, those were the naysayers yeah. that, if you will, were kind of the go to, to success. Um, and then I engaged some other partners and um, now we, we're into the owning and operating. So, so, so how big is your company? Uh, we have a little over 70 people now, um, and uh, st and and we have four four operating farms and uh, of different sizes with different purposes. Is um, are there uh, is is it scalable in the sense that a small farm and a big farm is just a matter of uh, doing everything times uh, times the amount of or are there are there difficulties scaling up? Uh, is, is a larger building, a higher building, more difficult than... So this is not as simple as it, lo as it appears, and so there are difficulties, but I think anybody who has come up with something, any entrepreneur, realizes that each time you scale up, you're going to run into a different set of problems. They either come with changes in labor and processes, or they come with impacts on the technology as a result of doing that. That said, this is not that hard to scale up in terms of just the magnitude of, uh, of produce that, that you're able to, to, to grow. So if I had a really nice slide in my presentation that showed all the way from a countertop, so something that we could just set right here on the table that would be uh, growing leafy greens all the way to machines that are 30 feet high, 80 feet long, 5 feet wide uh, with lots of levels in them. So. So, and have you already found people in the Netherlands interested? Because we, or are we really conservative and we want to <laughs> keep on doing it the way we've always done it? I grew up in a 
in a conservative farming uh, family. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, conservative is an issue, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, what's really neat about this technology is it's exciting for young people because it offers opportunities to utilize technology to, to they see that and so they're very interested in it. So, Actually, I've, yeah. I've been reading articles I think in, in, in Wired for example that like say young farmers etc sometimes out of necessity but are using a, a lot of technology at the moment uh, to to, yeah, to to make their their, their, their farm more cost efficient or whatever it is sure. using open source technology sometimes using uh, so so yeah that, that's what you what you see as well so young people y yes. are interested in, in this what you do yes and people come to work for aero farms not only because they like the idea that we're growing crops in uh, cities that we're employing people in cities that we're providing a, a crop in a in an environmentally friendly way that we're um, that we're, that it's a nutritious crop it's something more people ought to eat <laughs> okay that kind of thing yeah. they come for all of those reasons but they also come because there's a lot of data being gathered a lot of data being analyzed to improve to to make us more cost efficient to make us um, better able to, to monitor and deal with issues re related to quality or to food safety or whatever else. So a lot of technology involved in it. Not that there isn't in outdoor agriculture, but in some senses because of the closed nature of it, we get more meaning out of it, all right? We don't have all these other variables we can't control. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and maybe it's different as well because you started, that, that was your starting point from other fields technology comes in as an extra but but you are a technology company at heart do you feel it like yes that? yes 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 and I think our all of our, our our entire leadership feels that way our investors like that idea um, it, it makes you I think if, if if you appreciate the value of the knowledge and the way that you collect it and that you're that a fair amount of your focus is on that then you become a much more resilient business Okay, great. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, oh, you're right. Really Welcome. interesting. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, the thing was good because we, we um, uh, you're, you're here now and uh, the innovation station, the video platform. Um, uh, when when I heard that you were going to, come, I remembered it because we got your videos on uh, on our website as well. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. All right. Great. Okay. So it's good That's to have good. you here okay. in person after having seen your uh, material. But thanks <laughs> okay. a lot. It was a pleasure. Yeah. You. Thanks for uh, watching us. This was the last interview of two days of border sessions. Uh, we we will be back of course next year but all the uh, videos will be on our YouTube channel so if you missed something um, go and check them out because there's inter interesting stuff out there and uh, if you're watching now add videos to the site uh, please do because we want to uh, build the largest uh, collection of videos on innovations with you thanks a lot